I think trout and fly fishermen alike sit around all winter just awaiting the blue winged olive hatch. On this trip, I just didn't think it was ever going to happen. Talk to Corey. He told us that we were just a little bit early. The bugs hadn't started to pop yet. And I got to tell you, although the news we got at the fly shop wasn't the greatest news about the hatch, Utah is not short on things to do. I stepped outside and I looked up and there glistens the slopes of Park City, Utah. We knew what to do next. Yeah, blue wings are coming up big time. Hi, this is KT. Leave a message and I'll return the call as soon as I get back in range. KT, Friday here. I just got off the phone with your cronies at the green. And the hatch is on. The temperatures are still a little low and the wind's a bit high, but it is definitely on. So consider yourself notified. I'm forwarding Corey. When we last spoke, he was gathering gear and finishing up a few flies for you to try. They love these little bugs. I love fishing. Said he'd be leaving Park City straight away. Fishing dry flies. Big fish on little dry. And that you larrikins should meet below the dam. So if you want to be among the blue-winged olives, you best get off that mountain and head for the river. And KT, do restrain your cheesy 007 imitations. It's not life and death, you know. Anyway, Godspeed and good fishing. I don't really want to do that. <laughs> James.